good morning to all i welcome you all the lecture series of automata theory and compiler design in that uh, in today's class we are going to see about the uh, topic of uh, code optimization techniques so in that uh, already we know that what are all the pieces of compiler the pieces of compilers are lexical analyzer uh, syntax analyzer semantic analyzer and intermediate code generation code optimization and code generation so in that the code optimization is the fifth phase of compiler so the input of the code optimization is the three address code the output of the code optimization is a optimized three address code we are going to reduce the uh, three address statement uh, in the optimized way so the code optimization is a method of code modification to improve the code quality and efficiency so why we need for the optimization means the program may be optimized so that the it can be the the size of the program is smaller it executes uh, uh, more rapidly and performs the fewer input on output operations this is the thing we are going to need about the we are going to improve the uh, optimized code so the way of optimization it is a two way we are going to optimize one is a function preserving transformation other one is a loop optimization so what is a function preserving transformation means there are a number of ways in which the compiler can improve the program without changing the function it computes so we are going to uh, improve the function statements without changing the meaning and uh, changing the without changing the computations of the functions so the types of function preserving transformations are common sub expression elimination and copy propagation dead code elimination and constant floating now we will see one by one uh, with an example first uh, this is a common sub expression elimination so in that uh, suppose we have a left hand side we have a set of statements so in that a is equal to b plus c and uh, um, c is equal to b plus c it is a common and also b is equal to a minus t and d is equal to a minus t also the common so before we are going to eliminate the common sub expression we have to see about uh, there is a previous statement uh, there is any evaluation of the given variable so in that uh, we are only eliminate instead of um, the last statement only we are going to eliminate so instead of a minus t we are put the b in case of a minus t but we go we are not eliminating the b plus c because the evaluation of uh, b in the first statement and the second statement is different so this is the thing we have to consider in the common sub expression elimination so next is the copy propagation so copy propagation means suppose you are using any assignment statements of uh, we are assigning one variable to the another variable means so in the remaining following statement the assigning variable are used instead of the original variable for example consider the x is equal to a y is equal to x star b and z equal to x star c in the first statement itself the a is assigned to an x so instead of uh, every everywhere where is the x means we are that that is the thing we are going to um, put the variable of a instead of x so in the right hand side o is equal to x star b uh, instead of that we are replacing the uh, x to k so next is the constant folding the constant folding means uh, in, uh, suppose you are using any uh, expression in the constant means we are use instead of expression we are using that uh, the constant for example the pi value is 22 bar 7 instead of using that expression we are using the constant value as phi of 3.14 because the uh, division operation cost of evaluating the division operation is higher than the constant assignment so next is the dead code elimination so dead code elimination is the variable is live if its value can be used subsequently means it is a that per corresponding variable is live in the throughout the statement so otherwise it can be considered as a data so for such a statement we are going to eliminate we can uh, to eliminate that set of statements we can improve the code optimized so for example consider we have a left hand side we have a three set of statements in that a is equal to x we are not using anywhere so that is a dead code so we are going to eliminate that statement in the in our code that will improve our efficiency 
so this these are all the four uh, method are comes under the function preserving transformation so next is the loop optimizations so what is the loop optimization means the optimization is performed in the loop so in that we have a suppose you are having a outer loop in inner loop means so the most of the uh, time the program is concentrate on the inner loop so we are going to efficiently uh coding the inner loop means we can improve our program efficiency so the running time of a program may be improved if we can decrease the number of instructions in the inner loop so there are three uh, methods of uh, in loop optimizations in the loop one is a code motion other one is a induction variable elimination and reduction in strength so first uh, what is a code motion so code motion means we moves code outside the loop for example consider in the left hand side that is a statement while i is less than 10 x is equal to y plus z then i is equal to i plus 1 so here only in the inner loop we are incrementing the value of i only there is no need of the statement is used in x is equal to y plus z in the inner loop so we can um, move out the such statement in the uh, given statement it will uh, the, the inner loop execution is reduced so the code motion we are moving that x is equal to y plus z statement in outside the loop next is the induction variable elimination so the sum loops that contain the two or more induction variables means we can combine into the one induction variables for example we have at i is equal to 1 while i is less than 10 means t is equal to i star 4 then i is equal to i plus 1 here we are using the inner loop we are using the two set of statements only we are going to um, do the uh, addition of t plus 4 only so instead of uh, in that uh, using that i value we are going to uh, use only the t is equal to t plus 4 statement so we can reduce that uh, two statements in the inner loop so we are using instead of using the two induction variable we are using only one variable so next last one in the loop optimization is the reduction in strength so the reduction in strength uh, means we are replacing the expensive operation by the cheaper one for example we have an i is equal to the same example we are using so in that uh, instead of using that star operation we are using the plus operation in terms of star operation so this example is can use in the both reduction in strength and also the induction variable so for example the operations like star and division is a higher um, expensive and compare with the plus and minus so wherever we are using that set of statements we can reduce uh, we can uh, we can reduction the strength of the operation in the as a whenever the program is needed so these are all the uh, common code optimization techniques either we can do in the uh, function and either we can do in the loop so i hope you are understand uh, that what is a code optimization how we can reduce your, the code using the this type of techniques thank you